I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to talk to you about minerals. So minerals in the diet come in two categories. The macro minerals, like calcium and magnesium, and also micro minerals, like iron, copper, manganese, and also zinc. The macro minerals are the ones we're going to focus on today, and these are the ones you need quite a bit of. So as I've told you before, macro denotes large group. So not all minerals in either of these two categories need to be supplemented, and you really shouldn't confuse the importance of a mineral with its value as a supplement. So some macro minerals, like sodium and chloride, are so essential that you would die without them, but they're almost never taken as supplements, because they're pretty easy to get from food, obviously. Other macro minerals, like calcium and magnesium, are among the most popular supplements today. So, beginning with the macro minerals, magnesium should really come first. Magnesium is needed for more than 300 different metabolic operations, but almost no one gets enough of it today. Magnesium lowers stress, blood pressure, and also blood sugar. Everyone should be taking magnesium, and one reason we're all so deficient in it is our best source of magnesium is organic soil, and there's not really much of that around today. So that's one reason why it's hard to get magnesium in decent levels through food. Like potassium, magnesium is found in vegetables, fruits, seeds, and other plant foods, but in very small amounts. So I would actually recommend taking at least 400 to 1,000 milligrams of magnesium every day, preferably at nighttime, because it really helps you relax and helps you sleep. Sodium and chloride are molecules that are combined in salt and thus are two of the most important electrolytes in the body, which means they're essential to balancing fluids. Almost no one needs to supplement with sodium today, obviously, but they are critically important. Potassium is vitally important for the heart, and it has a symbiotic relationship with sodium. You need the two to be balanced or to favor potassium. You need thousands of milligrams of potassium a day, and it's next to impossible to get that from supplements, because most supplements are set at a strict limit of 99 milligrams, which is recognized as about 3% of an adult's daily value. So virtually every plant food has some potassium, so this should give you an incentive to eat more vegetables and fruit. Calcium is also one of your macro minerals, and the conventional wisdom on calcium is turning out to be only partially true. You definitely need calcium for strong bones, but you want to try to get those best calcium deposits in before age 25. It's no longer clear that supplementing with calcium in middle age, particularly when not accompanied by synergistic nutrients like vitamin D, vitamin K2, magnesium, and the trace minerals boron and silica, is very effective at preventing fractures or osteoporosis. Most people take way too much calcium today, which is why I actually advocate for a much smaller dose of calcium, somewhere around 250 to 300 milligrams a day, because you are getting a good amount from food every day, and you really don't need to take very much. And absolutely, whatever dose you're taking, please take it with, at the very least, vitamin D, but also ideally vitamin D and vitamin K2. Phosphorus is also one of your macro minerals and 85% of the phosphorus in your body is found in the bones and teeth. Phosphorus actually helps to filter waste in the kidneys and helps to synthesize and absorb vitamins and minerals from food. Almost no one needs to supplement with phosphorus, however, because good food sources of the mineral include sunflower seeds, raw milk, beans and legumes, tuna, broccoli, and also eggs. The final macro mineral is sulfur, and sulfur naturally occurs in hot springs and volcanic craters, as we all know. It helps to relieve arthritis and muscle pain, and bathing in a sulfur pool of water really does wonders for, for the skin and the joints. And this is one reason why methyl sulfonyl methane, or MSM, which is just bioavailable sulfur, is so beneficial for primarily the joints, but also all the other parts of the body affected by collagen. And that would be the hair, skin, nails, muscles, ligaments, tendons, all those things. 
Onions, garlic, leeks, and cruciferous vegetables are all exceptional sources of sulfur, but probably the best way most people get it is through taking MSM supplementally. So that's a look at the macro minerals, or the large group minerals that you need every day. We are going to cover the trace minerals, otherwise known as the micro minerals, ones that you do still need every day, but not nearly as much as the macro minerals. So hence the micro part in that. But for now, just kind of go through this list that we've been through today and see if you're taking enough of these macro minerals. I would say the most critical one to focus on right away is magnesium because it's so critical for so many things and it's very difficult to get magnesium from food today unlike calcium phosphorus or sodium thanks for watching i'm jason carter and i'll see you next time on enzyme mental stay healthy